Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm Player B, Series V's I've been for a little while. I go over there, trout food and drink items. I eat stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This is the last thing I'm reviewing right now. <laughs> this is like review number five or six in a row. I haven't done a string of reviews like this in a while. Because typically, I'm better about it now. I keep up with my reviews, so I replenish as I post. So it kind of keeps up. But for like the last like two weeks, it was like stupidly cold. And it was just like, no, 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 I don't want to do a lot of reviews. So now I have to do a whole bunch in a row. Anyway, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food in or drink items for you. While I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. While I'm doing that, I'm inside my truck. I almost forgot. Whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm also wearing Grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing Grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work. I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely not the case today. This is actually an item that I've had for maybe a couple weeks or so. It was before it got stupid cold. Uh, I don't even remember where I got it from, if I'm entirely honest with you. I want to say Target, but it might have been Whole Foods. But I got this particular product, and I've been meaning to review it for past few days. Uh, so I went over there. Whenever I have something I want to review, I toss it in my truck. Because then I'm like, oh, I'll remember to review it. But I forgot to. So, what is it? It is, boom! It is Culture Pop Soda. Uh, fizzy and Gutsy Probiotic Soda. It is the watermelon and lime flavor. Can we get a thing? Ah, ha, 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 sure. It is fizzy, juicy, zesty, lively, gutsy soda. Um, I've reviewed some stuff from Culture Pop. I'm not huge on probiotic soda as a general rule, but, you know, I'm going to give stuff a, sh a shot. Soda you can feel good about. Made with real fruit juice, spices, and li live probiotics. It's 40, 40 calories per can. 6 grams of sugar. Uh, buh, 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 40 calories, all that good stuff. So, yeah, okay, and it says to lightly shake before popping. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, it's been really cold the last few days. Like I said, this has been out of my car for the last few days. So this did at one point completely freeze over. So I don't know how well this is going to go. If it goes really poorly, you won't know. There won't be a review. But it sounds like it should be okay. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, we're, I think we're going to be okay. Now, whether or not the freezing and unfreezing will have fucked up the probiotics or the flavor, who the fuck knows. But, I'm going to give it a go. Smells pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That was a thing. Um, yeah, okay. I don't think that the, I don't think that the, the cold affected it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know about the probiotic stuff, but I don't think it affected the flavor. I'm pretty sure that just is the flavor. A lot of times with these probiotic sodas, like, they, they're sort of like a kombucha almost thing to them. Like, there's like almost like a fermented kind of aspect, and it kind of gives it like this tangy sort of sourness. Then on top of that, you got the fact that it's got a lime aspect, so you get like a sort of citric acidity kind of thing going on. The thing that annoys me the most about this, and I've mentioned this when it comes to like uh, watermelon-related stuff before. I love watermelon. It's a great fruit. Well, it's a melon, but whatever. It's fantastic. I don't understand why almost every company in the world seems to think that watermelon needs to be given this like extra punch. To its flavor. The great thing about watermelon is that it has a nice mellow flavor. It's a nice refreshing thing to eat during the summer, but so many companies feel this obnoxious need to go over there and like amp up the flavor, and they give it like a tartness, and I don't understand it, and I don't like it, and that's definitely the case with this. It has that sort of like tart watermelon flavor, and it just, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I 
I can see what they're going for with it. You've got kind of the tart watermelon flavor. And you've got that sort of like, again, sort of kombucha-y, fermented kind of thing going on with it with the probiotics and shit. And then it kind of like dials into like the citrusy or citrusy kind of uh, lime flavor. Mmm, yeah. I'll say this. This would be a good drink if you had a bunch of shit in your throat and you wanted to clear it out. Because you've already got that kind of like sourness again from sort of like the kombucha kind of effect thing. Then you got like the acidity from uh, the lime and stuff. That'll clear out your throat for sure. Um, as a drink, I see what they're going for with it. I fully understand that I am not the atypical market for something like this. Because the thing is, like, I'm willing to go with, like, soda substitutes. Like, I'm fine with that. Uh, but there's a huge range of them, and what they're trying to do can be very different. Some of them are just zero sugar. Some of them are more, orga more organic-oriented. This is obviously doing the probiotic thing. I just don't think I like probiotic sodas and stuff. I, because again, they always, at least all the ones that I've had, they, they have that, again, that sort of like kombucha sort of thing to them. And I don't like that. You know, it's just not a thing that I'm big into. Um, as a drink, beyond like the kombucha aspect, which again, I just, I don't like. But even when it comes to the flavors, like you took this already sour thing with the sort of kombucha, what the fuck ever, probiotic stuff. And then, you went over there and took, you know, so a lime, which is sour by itself, and then you had watermelon, which could have been a nice mellow, you know, contrast to that. But you went over there and you made it the kind of sour watermelon, too. So it's just a lot of sour. And I just, I don't need that. I don't like that, you know? It's like... And here's the thing. I think for this, when it comes, to, and I get why it's not, to be fair, I like contrasting flavors. And I think that's where these things kind of fall down. Because they just sort of hone in on, like, the one thing, which is that sort of tartness kind of thing that they already do. If this had something sweet, and there is a little sweetness, to be fair, but if it had a little bit more sweetness to counteract it, or the watermelon was a mellow watermelon to sort of counteract it, I could maybe go with it because it would almost be like a strong lemonade kind of thing. But they don't do that, and it's... Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No. Sure-ish. For me, I'm not the market for these probiotic sodas. I'm just not. You know, and it's like I will keep trying them, and, you know, maybe I'll find one that I like. I have certainly found better and worse ones, to be fair. This one at least doesn't taste medicinal. I've definitely had some that were really gnarly. I don't... This is, again, this is another thing where it's like, I don't think this is a bad product. I just don't think... It's not for me. I'm sure I could hand this off to one of my cousins who's, like, into that kind of stuff, and they'd probably really like it. I just... I could see myself, if I really forced myself, I could see maybe growing to like it to a certain extent because I don't find it repulsive or anything it just doesn't play to my palate you know I'm not somebody who likes just those very sort of one hit kind of flavors and I'm not big on like tart stuff you know so for me it just doesn't work that well but if I'm recommending it to other people again it's one of those things where it's like it's kind of who are you as an audience are you somebody who would be inclined towards this? Because if you are, I think that there's no reason to not at least give it a shot. I think the watermelon and lime flavors are defined. I think that, you know, it, it it's not bad. It's just, again, it's just not for me personally. But if you're somebody who, you know, again, if you're not into that kind of stuff, I could see this, it could be a little bit jarring. Uh, you know, again, I keep mentioning the, like the kombucha stuff. I, I do not, I, I don't get it, but some people really like it and that's fine. 
you know, I remember the first time that I tried it. I got some from Whole Foods years ago now. Uh, you know, and I got some pineapple one because I'm like, pineapple is safe. Pineapple makes everything taste better. It's wonderful and amazing. And it made the pineapple not taste good. And that's when I knew I didn't really like kombucha very much. But I do understand there's a market for it. I just also understand that I'm not that market for it. But it's not bad. There's nothing terrible about it. It's just not for me. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Spend this rest of your year. Folks, go with yourselves a truly. If you like kombucha, that's fantastic. Rest of your life. I just don't get it. I don't... Is it because I'm a millennial? Am I, like, too... Am I too old now? No, that can't be the case, because my cousin is older than me. He's Gen X, and he likes it. But he's a hippie, so, you know, he, he'll go over there and he'll just like, well, yeah, 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 where you been? Oh, yeah, no, I went hiking for a month. All right, good idea. He legit at one point in time went over there and proposed the idea. He was like, hey, I was thinking about getting all the cousins together and, like, having, like, a hike, you know, and, like, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, that could be okay. You know, and he's like, yeah, just be, like, a short hike, you know, just, you know. I'm like, what's a, what's a, what's a short hike? It's like, ah, you know, there's this one trail, you know, something like that. I think it was, like, ten miles. I'm like, <laughs> no. Ain't no way in hell my crappy knee is gonna last me walking fucking ten miles. But, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But, what you do if you can't do all the time? I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're gonna do, folks. You're gonna try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. And when we have to deal with those things in our lives, folks, all we can do... Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're like, Brandon, 10 mile hike, I do that every other weekend, and I go over there and I climb mountains and I skydive and all that. That's fine. That's fine. Good for you. I go over there and review... I... I go over there and I review food for my truck on YouTube. <laughs> now, to be fair, I also go to concerts and conventions, and, you know, like, I'm, I'm a, an active guy in my own limited way, but I ain't fucking hiking 10 miles, man. Even back when I was in good shape, I wasn't gonna fucking hike 10 miles. Why would you hike 10 miles unless you had to? Truth. This is a real, real story. When I first, I know I'm running long on time, don't care. When I first moved out to the area that I live now, it was a little bit before, I was like, a little bit before I was like 22, 23, that, that area. And around that time, one of my favorite bands, a band called Godhead, they were releasing what I didn't realize at the time was going to be their last full album. And I didn't know the area. I had no car, no license or anything like that. No job. And I wanted to buy that damn CD. So I, I didn't even have internet at the time, so I looked up the fucking phone book. And I found a Best Buy. And I went over there and I hiked out quite a ways to get not even to the Best Buy. I got to somebody who knew where the Best Buy was. And I realized how far away it was and I went back home. But then the next day I was determined, so I went over there and I rode my bike out there. Got my CD, rode my bike back. I eventually looked it up on when I finally did have internet access. And I think it was like 9.5 miles, like, round trip. And I was like, why? <sighs> Folks, if you enjoy hiking and all that stuff, that's fantastic. I'm going to... Bye!